Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 10 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And now, Superman, who has appeared on Earth as the champion of the weak and the oppressed. In his disguise of Clark Kent, news reporter for the Daily Planet, Superman has foiled the diabolical plans of the Yellow Mask, a maniac who thought himself emperor of the world. And now, a new adventure comes to the mild spectacled reporter, who is known to the city room as Clark Kent. Not knowing what strange and exciting days are directly ahead, Kent listens eagerly as a photographer brings word of a fire in one of the city's largest buildings. Listen. <laughs> White. What about that fire in the Sterling Tower? Yeah? What about it? I don't know, Kent. Just got a phone call. They think there's a girl trapped on the 20th floor. What? A girl trapped? Can't they get her out? Can't reach her. Mr. White, let, let me cover that story. Maybe... Maybe what, Kent? Well, maybe I can do something. Can I cover it? Go ahead. But if the fire department can't reach her, why do you think you can? Listen, you ain't heard of half the chief. Hello, Slade. What's all the excitement, Go on, Mike. Uh, wait. What about photographs? Who's up there? I'm going myself right away. But get this, will you? There's something phony about this fire. Phony? Yeah. Well, that's the dope I got. The fire marshal thinks maybe it's incendiary. Somebody said it on purpose. A fire bomb. What? Who did it? Where, whereabouts in the building is it? Did I hear you say something about a girl? Did she do it? Listen, give me a chance, will you? There's a mining company got offices up in the tower. North Star Mining Company. That's where the fire started, and they think that's where the girl is. They think. Mr. White, we're wasting time. Mike and I can grab a cab and be up there in five minutes. What's this? The store reporter turning fireman? Maybe he thinks he can save the girl. Come on, Galahad. Yes, do hurry. When you get back, we'll have a special medal for you. Clark Kent, scoops and lights. Quit that, Lois. No time for fooling. On your way, Kent. Call back the minute you have anything. Hey, there's a hook and ladder in the street right now. You must have heard the another alarm. What do you say, Kent? Wait till I grab my camera. We'll have a cab. Come on. Turn that corner on two wheels. How you doing, Kent? Uh, I'm all right, Mike. Hey, look. You can see smoke in the sky up ahead. Oh, this is a fire, all right. Want to get some swell shots. Something of that dame really is trapped. Say, speaking of dames, what's Lois Lane got against you? Uh, oh, almost hit that traffic officer. Hey, Eddie, you got to knock somebody off. Don't pick on cops. Why does she cold shoulder you, Kent? I don't know. Just seems to have taken a dislike to me. Oh, boy, I'll say she has. And I can tell you why, too. You ain't got a chance with her, Kent. No? No, no. Ain't you heard? About that guy she says come down from the clouds in a red cape and pulled her out of the wrecked airplane? Oh, listen, Mike, there's nothing to that. No, that's what you think, kid. Well, you just ask her. She's got a real study now. She's that way about Superman. What's the matter, Kent? Why don't you laugh? Ain't you got no sense of humor? Oh, boy, I think it's rich. Hey, here we are. Hey, this'll do it, Eddie. Find a place to park and stand by the rush back place. Hey, Mike, there's the fire chief. Oh, but gee, look at that blaze, will you? Grab your hat, Kent. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Stretch your line up there at the south corner. Get a hose crew out of that east wall. That wall is looking mighty bad, chief. Do the top of any minute now. Keep your eye on it, Drogan. And see if you can run a ladder up the ledge with that girl look. He's gone, chief. Reckon she couldn't stand the heat. Hey, here comes the press. I'm Clark Kent of the Daily Planet. Don't bother me now, boys. We got our hands full. Lieutenant, yeah? don't let your men get too close in there. They're just watching. Okay. Yeah, Chief. About that trapped girl. Is she still up there? I don't know. I haven't seen her. She must be a daughter. Where are you going with that camera? Well, just get a couple of shots, Chief. Get back out of there. See me later, will you, Kent? All right, Chief. Just one thing. What about the fire being incendiary? See the fire marshal. He's the one to do the talking about that. Hey, Sanders. Bring that water tower to the first floor. Hey, listen, Kent, what do you say? We can get up in that building and cross the street. We'd have a spot angle, see? Good idea, Mike. Uh, there's a balcony up there. I'm afraid the chief won't like it. Ah, who cares? What he don't know will afraid him. Come on, kid, this is going to be good. Mike, you go ahead up there. I'm going to call the office. Didn't I hear the chief say to send another alarm? Yeah, that makes four. Mind be quiet, it takes four alarms for this man's town. Huh? Okay, kid, when you come back, look for me where you see the most smoke, Mike. Right? Mr. White, this is Kent. Listen, the fire's terrific. Four alarms. Four alarms, eh? What's the chief 
say? I won't say anything. Too busy to talk. What about the fires being incendiary? Well, I haven't found the marshal yet. Mike and I just got here. I thought I'd better phone you and tell you about the four alarms. Right. Now listen, Ken. Keep phoning me whenever anything happens. Mr. White, they expect to keep calling it out any second. Mike's got his camera set to watch it. You tell him not to take too big a chance. And that goes for you, too, Ken. Don't worry. I don't take many chances. Go on, Mr. White. Oh, Ken. Wait, what about the girl? The one they said was trapped on the 20th floor. Mr. White, I don't know. She was in the offices of the North Star Mining Company, but where she is now, I... Uh, look, I, I'd better get back. Well, go ahead. I'll wait for your call. Hey, get ready for plates on the Sterling Tower fire. Slug and fall goes out of the man's place. Hey, right here, Kent. Out on the balcony. Come on, watch your step. Why do you think smoke here? Can't see a thing. Well, it's a tough spot, all right. But every once in a while, it clears. And boy, do I get a shot. How about the wall? All set to go. I better get that hose line out of there. Hey, look. Look over there at the wall. Ain't that a crack? Look up there. Mike, you're right. I can see planes right through it. Look at the chief down there on the street. He sees it. He's calling his men back. Mike, what if it falls this way? It won't. What's the matter? Mike, look. High up. Up there above the ledge. Hey, hey, gee, Kent. It's her. It's that girl. Up there on the 20th floor. Mike, she's managed to get to a window. What's she gonna do? Do? She can't do nothing. Where'd I get her phone? Oh, never mind your camera. Call them down on the street. They can't see her. They don't know she's there. Hey, Chief! Hey! Hey, the girl at the window! It's no use, Kent. They don't hear you. They, you can't do nothing. Mike, look at her. You can see her at the window. She's trying to break the glass. That won't help her. Look, in there behind her. Flames. Watch it, Kent. Take the smoke. <coughs> can't see. Where are you, Kent? Back on the balcony. Good thing that smoke came when it did. Maybe I waited too long. Too long even for Superman. I'll try anyway. Up into the smoke. Hidden from the crowd by billows of dense white smoke pouring out of the burning building, Superman wings his way through the air to attempt a daring rescue of the girl trapped on the 20th floor. Flames crackle and spit like things alive as he reaches the window. One blow smashes the glass. Superman drops into the room, now a roaring inferno. Sheets of orange flame envelop him. His keen eyes search the fire gutted office. The girl is nowhere to be seen. Flames, hotter than a blast furnace. Hope she got back out of this. Must be inside. Where's that door?
think she's badly hurt. Unconscious. She may be burned. We'll see. Aren't you a reporter, Kent? Yes, Chief. Daily Planet. I'm with Mike. That's right, Chief. I know, but how did you happen to find this girl? Well, I was running to call my paper, and then I happened to see her staggering out of the rear of the building. Well, how in the world she ever got down from the 20th floor is a mystery. More than that, Kent. It's a miracle. I saw a man up there. I saw a man fly out of that window. Oh, that... That can't be. And me not there with my camera? Well, I'm not crazy, Kent. Neither is Captain Grogan. We both saw him. She all right, Doc? Well, we won't come to for a while. Better be shot. Wait. She's coming around. Oh, no. Oh, no. You get away. Catch them. Stop them. Oh, please, stop. I can't get them. Smart. Stop. Stop, you little thing. Catch them. Catch them. Sound again. Here, quick. Get her in the ambulance. She's suffering from shock. That's no poison. Wait, Doctor. What was she talking about? How should I know? You heard it, didn't you? Sounded like hysterical babbling to me. Okay, there. Coming through with the stretcher. Gangway, please. Was it hysterical babbling, or has sudden, unexplained mystery risen from the ashes of the Sterling Tower building? Who is this girl, and how did she happen to be trapped in the 20th floor office of the North Star Mining Company. Who did she want stopped and caught? Clark Kent is suspicious. Don't forget to tune in next time and follow the story of one of Superman's most exciting adventures. And remember, tune in with us next time and follow the exciting transcription, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman, story 10 from 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.